9 Reasons Why Car AC Is Not Blowing Cold Air When Idling In Solution If you coming to my channel for the first time, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification. It is absolutely free. You are probably watching this video because your car AC blows warm air at idle or stop light. After watching this video, you will be equipped with 98% knowledge on how to fix this problem by yourself. The AC system is made up of several different components and if one of these parts isn't working correctly, the entire system optimal cooling operation will be compromised. You should be aware that the AC system of your car and your car cooling system are engineered to work together, a failure of one most time, will disrupt the other from working correctly. If you are noticing that the AC in your car is not blowing cold when the car is idling, it could be due to one of the following problems. 1. Low refrigerant level. Without refrigerant, your AC system is not going to work. The refrigerant is needed to create cool air, it is an essential part of your car's AC and if there is not enough, the air will not cool down as it should. While it is a fact that many drivers neglect their car's AC until the system begins to fail, a vehicle's aircon will need to be serviced every two years. While Freon can last up to five years, it is best practice to top it off every two years, especially if you live in a hot climate and regularly have the AC on. The refrigerant in your AC is designed to just recirculate around the system. But levels will run down in time, especially if there is a leak. The condenser in the AC system is made up of several tubes and seals and over time these can break, crack or deteriorate due to regular wear and tear. Any damage to tubes and seal in the AC system can lead to a refrigerant leak and leakages will impact the overall performance of the AC. This is particularly noticeable when the car is idling as the refrigerant passes through the system more easily at high speeds, but the compressor will struggle to pump low refrigerant levels when a vehicle is idle. Considering several causes of low freon in air conditioning, leakage is the most common. In most cases, the refrigerant level goes low because of leakages. You can check the refrigerant level of your car AC. The ideal freon level should be below 30 pounds per square inch on the low side, moreover below 150 pounds per square inch on the high side. Whether you need to refill the Freon in the car AC system or remove Freon from the car, both are simple tasks to do. 2. Blocked Condenser The condenser is a vital part of the car's air conditioning system. The condenser reduces the refrigerant temperature level and also, transferring the heat to the outside air and cooling the refrigerant down. Unfortunately, the location of the condenser means it is prone to becoming blocked. The AC condenser is located near the front of the car and can get clogged up with debris from the outside. If the condenser is not regularly cleaned up, debris can clog it up so much that it is unable to work correctly. When the condenser is totally blocked, it cannot transfer the heat and the refrigerant will not be cooled down. If the refrigerant isn't cold when moving from the condenser, the AC system will not be able to blow out cold air when idling. Prevention is the best approach, as it is cheaper than cure. Regularly inspection of your car's AC system and remove any debris you notice building up on or around the condenser will do the magic trick. Remember also to clean the coils on the condenser, these are the key components where the cool breeze from outside passes through the fins. 3. Clogged Radiator Your car engine needs a functional radiator to operate optimally. When your car radiator become clogged externally, it hinders a quality air flow across the condenser coil. A quality air flow across the condenser fins will need access through the radiator to perform efficiently. However, when your radiator is clogged from external influence, the radiator fan will work as it should but will not reduce the heat present inside the condenser. This defeats the primary objective of the AC condenser which makes your car to only blow cold while in motion due to the fact that the blocked or clogged radiator have isolates the condenser from its primary objectivities. 4. Clogged or Damaged Condenser the parts in the AC condenser are not designed to last forever. These parts can become worn over time and can be damaged by debris and blockages. The condenser is made up of several components. All of these parts can wear away over time and may not work correctly when the dirt is left to build up. These parts can be tricky to replace, especially the coil. This component can get damaged externally cause a restriction of air flow across the condenser coils and fins. Most condenser damaged can be stemming from mechanical influence or oil. When oil get into the fins, it attracts dust and debris that clogged up the condenser fins and cells. If the condenser fins aren't damaged but clogged due to oil, watch my video about condenser cleaning and you could solve this issue without replacing a part. If you have the skills needed for the job yourself, you can save a lot of money on labor costs. When one or more of the condenser parts are damaged, the AC system will not blow cold air when the car is idle. 
If you notice your AC system is not working as you should, investigate the problem straight away to avoid causing further damage over time. 5. Damaged Condenser Fan The condenser fan is essential in keeping the refrigerant temperature low up to the acceptable range, when your engine is idling. When your car is moving, the condenser transfers heat from the refrigerant to the air passing over the coils. However, when the car is idling, the refrigerant is temperature is regulated by the condenser fan. When the condenser fan is broken or malfunctioning, the car AC will perform better while in motion but warm at idle. This problem may just be down to a loose connection, blown fuse, faulty radiator fan relay or the fan may have moved slightly and no longer be in the optimum position to work at its best. 6. AC System Overcharge Your car AC system is designed to take a precise refrigerant quantity and lubricants. When you overcharge the system with refrigerant, the system performance will drop significantly. A quick check using PT chart for the refrigerant used in the system and checking your owner manual will help you guide you through knowing the right refrigerant quantity meant for your car. There is a video in my channel about the right pressure for your car and idea range to expect. 7. Debris Particles in Car AC System The car AC system needs to be away from any foreign objects. Debris can prevent the air conditioner from flowing cold air whether the car is running or idling. A small amount of dirt or debris particles can cause blockages in the AC compressor, and this situation causes the aircon not to be cold when the car is idle. There are several ways debris can get into your car's air conditioning system to make it not blow cold air. The vehicle's air conditioning system is always located in the front part, so it is so easy to get debris and waste. Even any strong waste can break the compressor or condenser, or radiator, which would not be a good circumstance for an air conditioner. 8. Bad AC Compressor AC compressor is to your AC system what your heart is to your body. Your AC compressor is designed to last for a while not forever. When your AC compressor began to age, it starts wearing out from the inside, the pistons and bearings began to have clearance. This clearance is of caused by poor lubrication in the system either due to wrong oil used in the system or poor quality oil. Either way, both have the capability of compromising the AC compressor internal structures. When this occurs, your AC compressor compression will drop below the acceptable range. Thus, causing a performance of your car AC system at low RPM or at idle, however, performs slightly better when your car is in motion. How to fix it? A simple replacement of the compressor will solve this problem if found to be the culprit. 9. Bad Throttle Position Sensor or Throttle Body Your car throttle position sensor or throttle body is the governor of most Morden vehicles. It receives input data from the throttle pedal and other input sensors or actuators to perform optimally. This sensor regulate the airflow as much as your idle speed. While throttle body have built-in idle air control valve that regulate the idle of your car, makes it the culprit that disrupts the AC performance at idle. If your engine RPMs is lower than the acceptable range, the AC compressor will compress less volume of refrigerant. This results into car AC underperformance at idle or stop light. Now that you know why your car AC blow warm at idle, subscribe to my channel, share this video and give this video a thumb up, if you have additional questions. Leave it in the comment section.